This is the MG4 and in this video I'm going to be answering the internet's most asked questions about it. I'm Sean Hare from Arnold Clark and before we jump in remember to hit the like button below, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon so you never miss a video. Okay, first up, what is the range of the MG4? Yep, that's a good solid EV opening question. So let me just get this right. So the standard version gets 218 miles and the long range gets 281, which is pretty good. Oh, and next year there'll be an extended range version that's apparently gonna get over 300 miles. Next one, is the MG4 fast? It's not bad. The standard range does 0 to 62 miles an hour in 7.7 .7 seconds and the long range does it in 7.9. That's because it's got a bigger battery, which makes it a bit heavier. But next year there's a performance version that will do 0 to 62 in less than 4 seconds and that is very quick. Next question, does the MG4 have a heat pump? No, but it does have an app you can use to precondition the car, as in warm it up while it's still plugged in to help you save range. Apparently the jewellery is still a little bit out on whether heat pumps are useful over the long term compared to the extra cost. And with this being one of the cheapest EVs available right now, I'm guessing that cost is what it came down to when they decided not to have one. Does the MG4 have a frunk? Also no, not in this one. You just have to use the booth. But do that many people actually use the frunk? If you've got one, let me know down in the comments whether you use it or not. Where is the MG4 made? We haven't had a question like this since the new Astra, but it's along the same lines, so it makes sense. You see, MG was a British brand before MG Rover went into administration back in 2005. Now, they're owned by the SAIC Motor Group, and to answer the question, the MG4 is made in Ningde Fujian in China. Can the MG4 tow? Interesting one, but yeah, it can, up to 500 kilos. Does the MG4 have Apple CarPlay? Also yes, and Android Auto as standard. That's some good value right there. Is the MG4 good to drive? Well, I haven't driven one yet, so I can't tell you what I think myself, but from all the reviews I've read and seen, people are loving it. Good drive mode settings, good turn and circle, and it even comes with adaptive cruise control as standard, which is one feature that I love. Front or fruit? Front trunk or front boot? I prefer fruit, but let me know which one you think works better down in the comments. Before you go, remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to make sure you never miss a video. And until next time, you can follow us around the internet with the rest of the Arnold Clark social channels, which will all be linked down below. Until I see you again, drive safe.